See, while the talks were underway, Russia's strategic nuclear bombers, known as the White Swans, actually landed in uh, South Africa. The 13-hour flight is being called a symbolic visit, or is it just another way for Russia to send a message about its capabilities? RT senior correspondent Murad Gazdiev was there. And we have touchdown. The Russian swans have come to South Africa. Blackjack, NATO reporting name, officially the two 160 Russia's strategic nuclear bombers. This is the furthest south that they have ever been. We're closer to Antarctica than we are to Russia at this point. Now, ordinarily, a nuclear bomber doesn't make the most welcome guest, but this is a symbol, a symbol of trust between Russia and South Africa. Now, you can love them or you can hate them, but this is a majestic aircraft, the world's heaviest supersonic uh, military aircraft. This thing weighs in at almost 300 tons, capable of staying in the air for an entire day. We all have different definitions of what it is to be a friend, but if you're comfortable inviting a supersonic nuclear bomber for a visit, you're pretty good friends. We're going to go meet the pilots. Uh, they're pretty tired. This has been a, a long journey, but the press and uh, these aircraft have caused, uh, caused quite a stir here. Dozens and dozens of journalists come to see the site. The press are very eager to talk to them. There's been a sense of novelty, like entering uncharted waters, but I think we'll get to explore this part of the world too. We've seen a whole lot of various scenery, our Earth is enormous, but for the most part we've been flying over the ocean. We have a tradition, just like the sailors, we congratulate each other when we're crossing the equator. Firstly, I want to say it's um, a pleasure for us as South African Air Force to receive the Russian Federation Air Force to visit us. Of course, the conditions of the Air Force Base waterproof in terms of the length of the runway, we made our planning and we are sure that the two bombers will be able to land and be uh, nicely accommodated here. The Russian side has been very, very careful to keep any and all politics out of this visit and its statements. But come on, we can read between the lines. Vladimir Putin is hosting dozens and dozens of African leaders. The world is changing, and Russia's message is clear. It's back in Africa. Old empires die, and new powers are born. And for Russia, 21st century, Africa is the place to be.